Hi there, I'm Jen Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio, and today I've got a super fun project as we are going to customize some license plate frames for your car. Hey guys, we have a super fun project to work on today as everybody should have a custom license plate frame on their car. Um, so I found these on Amazon. We will have um, a link in the description below. And the first thing that we're gonna do is put on our Artsyville embellishments foil adhesive, uh, full coverage, um, and I picked a black frame on purpose because I want it to have the black as the base for the foil color that I'm going to use. So in looking at license plate frames, there pretty much is just the choice of um, black or chrome. So depending on um, what you're looking to do, uh, I would choose um, the frame color in a color that'll work best for your project, okay? So I'm putting on the foil adhesive using a sponge brush so that I can get the foil adhesive onto the surface without having to do uh, brush marks, okay? So I'm just pouncing, but you gotta make sure that you pounce all edges because the frame bends, okay? So it has sides to it here. And I'm just using a foam plate, putting the adhesive on, pouncing onto the foam plate a little bit so that you don't end up with uh, a ton of adhesive at one time. And then just pounce. And then I would get my sides as I'm going and make sure you get both sides. If you don't have any foil adhesive, um, on an area you will not have any transfer in those spots. Okay, so when it gets on to where you can see how it looks super white right now, uh, looks more stipply, just pounce over the top of that again with the brush more perpendicular and it will soften up um, that heavy pouncing look. Okay, so I'm pouncing it on heavy to start with so that I can make sure I have enough adhesive and then I know I can come back and soften all my brush strokes or brush marks. Okay, so as we get going and we're moving around to our last side here, it's gonna get a little bit tricky holding on to everything. Okay, when you get to the end here, you guys, you might want to just go ahead and critique. Make sure that you have adhesive absolutely everywhere. Uh, if you miss a spot, there's just not going to be any foil that will transfer in that area. Um, it should still have made the frame a slightly different color. It goes on milky white and dries shiny and clear. So you should be able to see where the adhesive is going, especially on a black background. You can always see it super well. Once you have the adhesive on there, you just want to put this someplace safe to dry. I will let it dry overnight so that we will have our best bond and our adhesive will get to a really good firm tack. So as soon as this is dry, I'll be back and we will transfer our gorgeous foils. Well, I chose Leopard Junkie and as you can see, it's a gorgeous foil, so I couldn't resist. Um, our frame is all ready to go. The um, foil adhesive has dried for several hours, uh, actually close to overnight, and should give us a great transfer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this over the entire top of it, okay? And I think it's just gonna be easier to cut in let it drop on the inside edges and just do this all at once. Now you could cut strips and probably be a little bit more uh, 
economical maybe with your application, but we never waste anything. So all of this area of unused foil that's here in the middle will definitely go to some other project. So I'm just rubbing it along all the edges because the, um, the frame curves around everywhere. And I'm just going to take a toothbrush, you guys. Uh, simple, easy. Scrub this on. I'm just going to lift it up. I want to make sure I got all those outside edges. And let's do my favorite part. Let's start doing the peel and reveal and see what we have here. Oh my gosh, you guys, this foil just releases so beautifully. Um, you cannot go wrong with this one. This is going to be so fun. So such a great, fun, and easy way to give your vehicle a little customization here. No matter what color or design you are into, I think you guys will love doing a custom license plate frame. So once you have transferred your foil and you're happy with everything, I'm trying to get the light to reflect on this so that you can see it super well. Um, I'm going to top coat, and our top coat is very important as we need to make sure we're protecting uh, the foils from the elements as well. So I'm going to grab our Master Clean, Master Clear Supreme um, by Modern Masters. Uh, I have it in gloss because I want to keep this one kind of shiny. So it's also a top coat that is exterior rated. So the properties that this has is great for this project, okay? You want to make sure that you're putting something on that has exterior capabilities because it has to deal with all of the elements. You're going to be dealing with uh, the sun, all the weather, everything. So make sure that you put on a really good high quality top coat to protect. I am just brushing on. I will uh, definitely put on a couple of layers. I will double check uh, the manufacturer's recommendation here, but I think you have to let your first coat dry for several hours before you can apply the second coat because this is going to just deal with a lot, okay, <laughs> uh, being on your car. Um, I'm probably going to put on two to three coats to give this really good protection you got to realize it's got to make it through um, dealing with all the elements as well as car washes and everything else that you're going to be doing to keep your car absolutely beautiful to show off your new custom license plate frame. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this fun tutorial on doing license plate frames. You'll find all the materials and supplies in the description below and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials.